Hi, I'm Miss Retha and we're back for another CKM Saturday. It's the day after Christmas. Are you still enjoying everything you got? I bet y'all had a great time, didn't you? I know I did. I got to actually spend time with my family yesterday and I was so fortunate to be able to do that and I hope you were able to do it too. If you did, it was truly a blessing, wasn't it? Well, I know a lot of you have so much to do and so many things to play with, so I wanna just jump right in and get started on our lesson. That way you can get back to enjoying your holidays. We all face situations where we're sad, scared, or alone, don't we? You know, we talked about darkness and dark rooms last week, but thankfully God sent the Holy Spirit to help us and when we have faith in Jesus. And when we have faith in Jesus, we're never truly alone. Today, we're gonna to learn about a time Peter wrote a letter to encourage Christians who felt sad, scared, and alone. The Holy Spirit guided Peter to write letters to believers who were struggling with fear of persecution. So what is persecution? It means to be cruel or unfair to someone just because they don't agree with the way you think or they're different from you. For example, Peter was writing these letters to Christians who were being beaten, they were being put in prison and even killed just because they had faith in Jesus. Peter was trying to comfort them. He was trying to encourage them and keep them strong in their faith. And the Holy Spirit was giving him the words to write these letters. That's just one way the Holy Spirit helps us. How does the Holy Spirit help Christians? The Holy Spirit comforts us, shows us our sins, and guides us as we live for God's glory. God wants us to live our lives obeying Him, and with the Holy Spirit, we can really do that. You know, God kept his promise when he sent the Holy Spirit. And after that, the disciples were able to do great and mighty, mighty things. Remember in our story two weeks ago, Peter healed a man who couldn't walk. Well, this week we're going to hear about a letter the Holy Spirit helped Peter write to all those Christians who were being persecuted. Our story is called Faithful in Hard Times. In the early church, Jesus' followers faced persecution. The disciples told others about Jesus, but some people did not like what they were saying. Those people mistreated the believers because of their faith, and many believers were forced to leave their homes and go to different cities. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, wrote a letter to encourage them. Peter was a leader in the church, and he wanted to help these believers be faithful in hard times. Peter said, praise God. He is merciful and given us new life. We have hope because of Jesus, whom God raised from the dead. Peter reminded believers that because we are children of God, we have blessings in heaven that cannot be taken away or destroyed. We rejoice in this promise, even though we face suffering in this life. When hard times happen, God is honored as we trust him by faith. Peter also wrote, Hope in Jesus and be holy. God is your Father. Live in a way that shows Him respect. Peter reminded the believers that before they trusted in Jesus, they lived however they wanted. Jesus gave His life to save them so they could have a better life, true life, through His Word. Peter said, This world is not your home. Do not live like people around you who do wrong things. Instead, do what is good. Live as servants of God. Show love and respect to everyone. Others will see your good works and give glory to God. Jesus gave us an example to follow. He suffered for us, dying for our sins so that we could live for what is right. Before we were like lost sheep, now Jesus is our shepherd. The Bible says Christians will suffer for following Jesus. Peter encouraged believers who faced persecution for their faith. Through suffering, God can make us more like His Son. Jesus gives us hope and true life so we can live joyfully for Him, even in hard times.
Even today, believers around the world suffer persecution. The top five places are North Korea, Afghanistan, Somalia, Libya, and Pakistan. Christians are also persecuted in Russia and India, and that's just a few. The list is really long, guys. Peter's letter reminded the people that we are children of God and that we have blessings in heaven that no one can take away from us. And guess what? Peter's letter is just as true today as it was 1,958 years ago. Peter tells us to praise God, that he's merciful, and that he's given us a new life. We have hope because of Jesus. And we have a forever life in heaven with Jesus that absolutely no one can take away from us. Pastor Brian has a really interesting question today. Let's see what it is. Hi there, I'm Pastor Brian and it's time for questions from kids. Xavier from Newman, Georgia asks, If God is all powerful and in control, why doesn't he just make life easy for everyone? Great question, Xavier. You know, in today's Bible story, we saw that Peter was encouraging believers who faced persecution. And it's really understandable that we would ask, well, why would God allow any of his children to undergo persecution or even difficulty in life? And that really makes us think that, you know, life can be difficult, can it? I know you guys are just kids and sometimes people look at you and think, man, your life is so easy. And we know it can be challenging at times. School can be hard. Uh, it can be hard to have some friendships and sometimes our friends hurt us. Sometimes getting along with our, our brothers or sisters or our parents can be difficult. And, and we go through harder things in life as well. The truth is that we all live in a world affected by sin and life can be really difficult. And yes, God could make life easy for us. But that might not be as good as it sounds because sometimes what is difficult is really best for us because something difficult, some kind of trial or a difficult situation helps us to grow and it helps us to turn to God for help and comfort. If life were all comfortable and easy, I think we wouldn't learn to trust in God. We'd learn to trust in ourselves or take God for granted. So sometimes easy is not the best, the most loving thing God can do for us is put us in a situation where life is difficult. Think about Jesus. His life was not easy, was it? But it was the best. And if God didn't spare Jesus from hardship, why would he spare you and me from hardship? God loves Jesus. He allowed him to suffer for a reason. He loves us. And sometimes life can be difficult for a reason as well. So here's a question back for you. How can suffering or persecution bring you closer to God? I loved that question. It was a hard one, but Pastor Brian had a really great answer. You know, it's like we've learned in our studies so far. God has a plan, and he knows what's best for us, even when it means we might have to be in a situation that's sad or scary. We know that he will always take care of us. Well, what do you think about Pastor Brian's question for you? How can suffering or persecution bring someone closer to God? Well, for me, I know when I'm suffering, like when I'm sick or hurt, I pray. And when I pray, I'm talking to God, and I feel closer to him when I talk to him. And I have faith that he's going to answer my prayer in a way that's going to be best for me. Let's move on to our key passage. <clears throat> His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. At 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Guys, when we know Jesus, we have everything we need to live a life 
that glorifies God. Okay, now it's time to get out your Bibles and we're gonna do some Bible discussion and skills. I need you to turn to 1 Peter chapter one. That's 1 Peter chapter one. This letter was written about 30 years after Jesus ascended or went back to heaven. Okay, our first question is, what did Peter say we were born into when we have faith in Jesus? And that answer is in verse 4. What did Peter say we were born into when we have faith in Jesus? Blessings in heaven. Why should we be faithful in hard times? And that answer is going to be in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 12. Chapter 2, verse 12. It honors God. Why did Peter say Jesus bore our sins? <clears throat> and that answers in verse 24. So we could live for righteousness. Why do you think God allows us to face hard times? What in the world could be good about that? Well, sometimes I think it helps teach us patience. And we can show others how powerful God is and how much he loves us when we treat somebody who's mean to us with kindness. Like I said before, we can learn to trust God more. I trust that God has a plan for me and I have faith that he will always take care of me. Well, let's move on to our gospel plan, and we're going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to do the motions, and y'all have to say the words. All right, here we go. Did anybody have any trouble? Well, we'll go over it with the words. God rules. We send. God provides. Jesus gives. And we respond. Y'all keep practicing that. All right, will y'all bow your heads with me while I say a prayer, please? <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving us Jesus. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to live with us and guide us so we can live a righteous life. Father, make us brave so we can face hard times and always be faithful to you no matter what. We love you and we thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. Remember, guys, all of our hope is in the Lord. When we face hard times and things happen that we don't understand, God always remains the same. So let's remember to praise Him and thank Him this week for giving us hope. Our lesson next week is another story about Peter, and we're going to see him in prison, so you don't want to miss it. So let's close out with the Lord's Prayer. Bow your heads and close your eyes and fold your hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Have a great week, guys. And remember, you are a child of God, and he loves you no matter what happens. <laughs>